Hello human beings! I just wanted to give a little disclaimer before this video starts. I look like an actual troll with no makeup on, so let's all prepare ourselves. What you're about to see will be life changing. <laughs> Hi friends! So tomorrow Ashley and I leave to go meet Shane. It is Saturday today and I have to pack and stuff and then we leave tomorrow in like 48 hours is the big day where we finally meet Shane and I'm so excited. I'm gonna go ahead and pack now. I will see you tomorrow. Have no fear, your hero is here. My super sense is telling me that danger is near. A villain's on the loose and he's ready to attack. Oh. But I'm not a superhero. I'm not that kind of guy. Because I'm running out of time. I know what I can do. Okay guys, so I think I'm done packing. Um, I think I'm gonna wear the outfit, the last one, the weirdo shirt and the gray skirt. I still have a few things to pack, like shoes and different things, but I'm pretty much done as of now. I'm starting to like, get a lot of anxiety. I have pretty bad travel anxiety, um, especially with everything that's been going on lately in the world. I just worry some of what could be going on and different things. I don't know. I always overthink everything, but I'm really hoping everything will be okay. Um, I'm sure everything will be okay, you know, but it's still scary. I'm excited to see Shane. I know like the entire time in line, I'm going to be like really nervous just because I'm like going to be worried about what's going on, but I heard he has a lot of security, so I'm sure it'll be okay. Yeah, it's been kind of crazy by where I live. How's the RNC was this week and my dad, with what he does, he has like a lot of access to police stuff and he was like listening to police scanners for like days and different things and um, it was just kind of interesting and scary to hear some of the things that were going on and oh my god, by the way, I can't believe I didn't talk about this. Julian got into Buffer Fest. I'm like so genuinely excited for him. I might actually go. It's like six hours for me. And I'm not even, I don't even care if I get to see them. Um, I mean, it'd be great to be able to chat and see them and just, you know, have a little while to talk or whatever. But um, that is definitely not the reason I would want to go. I want to see his project. I don't know. I'm just really excited for him. Ah. So yeah, I'm going to be going to Bufferfest. It's in Canada. I've never been out of the country. I don't know. We'll see. It's not for 88 more days, so we'll see. And great job, Julie. Congrats. If you're watching this, congratulations. I can't believe it. I'm so excited for you. And yeah. Okay, guys, for real, though. Good night. Love you so much. And sleep well. hotel um we had some issues checking in they wanted us to be 21 but um we drove for four hours so <laughs> there's no way we're going back home so we're here and we're just gonna go get food and get some stuff for the hotel and Atrix here you didn't see her yet but she's here she came obviously <laughs> but yeah we'll see you later tonight when we're back with our food and fun things good morning Today's the day we beat Shane. Ashley's oh. brushing her teeth currently. <laughs> but we beat Shane today. Are you excited? I'm really excited. We're <laughs> we that. I would show her, but she's brushing her teeth and she looks like a dirt. So. Hey. Hey. We're going to go to some mall around here. What was it called? Like Kenwood. Kenwood something. Town Center. <laughs> Kenwood Town Center. Yeah. So yeah, so we're just gonna chill until we go meet Shane and things. Hopefully we are buy some stuff and spend money we don't have. We're back from the mall and we got some cute stuff I'm gonna show you. So I got a cute crew that just says New York City. It's like a crop crew. And then I got a shirt that says California Hath My Heart because it's true. And then I, look what I got for Jenna and Juliet. Their little hats kissing. And they like make noise. Listen. And they hug. 
It's so cute. I love it so much. I'm going to be setting it in the P.O. box when I get home. We're going to be changed now. We're going to leave in like 10 minutes. So yeah, that's that. And I will probably see you guys when we're back. Um, hopefully we're going to do like a story time of how the meet and greet one and everything. But I'm so excited. And I'll see you guys then. So I already filmed this once. I accidentally deleted it. This is all that exciting. <laughs> I met Shane over the weekend on Monday. So it wasn't a weekend, it was Monday. It was really great. He was really sweet, gave me a big hug. And just like a little bit about what happened. We got there and there were a bunch of people already there. There, We ended up finding out that they sold out tickets and there were 1,200 people that they sold tickets to, which was insane. It was like 98 degrees and I was hot as ball sack. And so I was like, holy shit, man. Die. We stood in line for probably about a half hour to an hour, I would say, and we sat down and like tried to entertain ourselves as best as we could. It was kind of rough. And we were Group X, and there, when we got there, it started with Group A. So we were there for a while. We actually were there until about 9 o'clock. It was about 8.45 when we were done. Um, the line to get there, there was probably 20 to 50 people per group. And I still don't know if we were the last group or if they had like a y and z but we pretty much just went up the stairs and from the bottom of the stairs till you came back down the other side after you met shane after you got your book was a maximum of two minutes it's very very short the shortest meet and greet i've ever had by long shot and i don't really blame shane i don't really blame anyone they probably had certain like time restraints and things that they had to deal with and work with i'm not angry about it but it was just kind of like I guess unexpected would be a good word, but it was still nice and he was a sweetheart as usual as I expected. He looked a lot younger in person, which is very interesting to me. Normally it's the opposite, normally people are a lot older in person, but he looks a lot younger. As I said, he gave me a big hug. We were kind of worried about that, if he would give hugs or not, just because of like worrying about an age difference and you know, just different annoying things that people can start rumors about. It's not his fault, but this is really annoying and really touchy and really forceful. Like, they had music playing and Garrett was there, you know Garrett. He was like out in the open just taking pictures and different things and there was music playing and so like while the music was going on, we could like, like just like jam and just waiting. And every time I went to go do something, the lady was like, move up, move up, move up, one step, go, 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 move up, move up. And I'm like, dude, nobody's moved in front of me. There was literally probably this much space in between me and the person in front of me and she still didn't think we were close enough. I was like, we're just gone. Like, yeah, we'll be okay. <laughs> Everyone's gonna make it. It'll be alright. I had to put all our stuff down on the table and when I got to the top of the stairs, the one lady was like, nothing in your hands, nothing in your hands. I'm like, bitch, the table is literally a thousand feet in front of me. What do you want me to do? Teleport? Like, I don't understand what you want from me. <laughs> you know, actually meeting Shane and seeing him, even though, I'm not joking, it was 10 seconds, maybe. I'm not really happy with the picture because it was I, literally no time to prepare, nothing. It was the shortest thing I've ever experienced, but he was really sweet from the short amount of time I was with him. And Garrett was really sweet, I said hi to him. The entire trip was really fun, I'm happy with how it went. Four hour drive on the way home. We listened to a bunch of podcasts on the way home. We listened to Shane's podcast that week with Emma, and then we listened to Tyler and Corey's podcast for the week, and then we listened to Jen and Julian's podcast for the week, and Ashley had actually never heard Jen and Julian or seen Jen and Julian's podcast and so that was really cool to introduce her to that. I was like ah! So yeah overall it was really fun. This team was just really pushy. Actually when I got to the line to go see him I looked at Ashley for like 0.6 seconds and the girl in front of me was just getting her picture taken and I looked at Ashley and I was like he looks so cute and the lady that was next to me who's his publicist she was like turn around face forward I'm like boy <laughs> No, calm down. It's okay. And then the girl that was in the meet and greet in front of me was like, walking away from Shane and she was still like kind of talking to him. And I have had meet and greets barged in on by other people and so I know what that feels like. So I don't like doing that to people. Even if that's never happened to me, I still wouldn't want to do that. But I was just waiting for her to leave before I entered. And the publicist literally pushed me. Like she literally put her hands on me and she was like, go, your turn. And I'm like, the person in front of me isn't even done. First of all, second of all, don't touch me. I don't, I don't know what is up with these people and touching the visitors. I don't get it. I, if you guys know, I'm in School of Arts Management and that's what I want to do. I want to manage artists. I could never 
fathom putting my hands on someone unless like obviously there was a like an issue or a danger or anything that's a different story but just like a girl standing there waiting to see someone that she loves I, there's no way i would touch her i don't know or him no way i would touch her or him i just couldn't imagine how people do that to me is really frustrating when i actually when i was pushed in there shane wasn't even looking at me he was still talking to the girl that was leaving and i was like seriously i'm a grown adult i am almost 21 years old i know how human interaction works i know that when he looks at me i will walk toward him don't push me in before he's even ready to have that personal interaction with me because I don't want to, I don't know, force anything. It's just it's just this weird manifestation I have in my head and it really annoys me and I don't like when people do that. So that was really my only complaint. I know it's not Shane's fault, I know nothing Shane's fault, I know time isn't Shane's fault. It was a good time and Cincinnati was fun. Go ahead and comment down below if you went to Shane's book tour at all because I haven't had time to read the book yet, but I've heard from everyone. It's phenomenal, so I'm very excited. And let me know if you, once again, had any interesting meet and greet experiences. Go ahead and like the video if you enjoyed it, and subscribe to my channel if you would like. I love you more than you will ever know, and I hope you have a great week.